Hi, you're watching Arduino for Beginners, Binary Dice with Guest Button. Today we will build a Binary Dice and add a Guest Button so you can try to guess the, uh, the result of the, of the dice. The sketch is quite complex and you have it in the book. You can, you can look, take a glance in the book because it's very well explained. I'm going to try to explain it as clearly as possible. So let's Here take we a look. have the sketch of our binary dice with guest button project. I'm going to try to explain it as clearly as possible. I think you already understand all of this. And also the boy setup. It's easy. But here we have a, a new thing. What is this? And what is this? Okay, this time instead of writing manually the, the code to the bottom of the button, we will use libraries. But what's a library? In Arduino official page, we have libraries. Libraries are files written in C or C++, which provide your sketches with extra functionality. You can, you can import a library to your sketch and make it easier for you to, to program. To the bottom of the button, we we have to download the the Devons library. Here we have it, and then import the library. Once we import the library, we have to say Arduino which button we, we want to to the bones. So we have the start button pin that will start the game, and the guest button pin that we will allow you to, to to guess the result these two buttons must be the bounce it so we, we, we will use the bounce class and and then we have to put the the button we want to the bounce and the the time the the, the interval instead of writing 20 and here 20 again I've, I have created a little variable named the bounce interval and then put the bounce interval variable here and also here so we have to make um, we have to introduce the the guess variable and initialize it it, it is equal to zero because at, at the beginning we we haven't made any guessing, so it is it, it, it is equal to zero. Then the void loop, as you can see, the void loop is very small. Why? Because when you are programming, it is very useful to use functions and to make the project as easy as possible. So the void loop is reduced to just two functions handle guest button function and handle start button function the complexity of the project is in these two functions so let's take a look so as we are using a library we have to know how the library works how we get high or low from the library to that we're going to Arduino official page so we have here the update class that detects when the state of the button has changed and the red class that let us know the state of the button high or low so if the state of the button has changed if the case button has changed and if the state of the button is high then the the guess variable increase its value one, one, and also we make Arduino to output that that value in the in the three LEDs we have for our binary, binary dice, and or we also print it in the serial monitor. We have a serial monitor, so let's take advantage of it. There is one more thing to explain. What happens if we press the button more times that sites have 
um, a dice that we get wrong values. To avoid that, we have this mathematical sign that returns the, the reminder of the division of the guess per 6. So we always have a, um, a result equal to 6 or lower than 6. Then we have the handle, handle start button function that is at the start the same as the handle guess button function when we when the button change its state and if the state of the button is height then we output the result the result that we have here and the result is random between 1 and 6 then we use this, the serial monitor again to print the result we wait for a second so we can clearly say see what the result has been and then if the guessing is higher than zero if we have introduced a guessing and if it is equal to the result then we, 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 we use the serial monitor to print this little sentence you win in case you win and in case you lose else you lose we print it in the serial monitor here we have a, um, a little function hooray I'm going to explain in a moment. Here we have the function. Here we have an, a new thing, the for. For is a statement that let us repeat like a loop the number of, of times we want what is what is inside it. It is composed by three statement, three elements an initializer we have to create a little variable and initialize the variable so we equal the variable to zero then a condition that is the number of times we want what is inside to be repeated and an increaser or decreaser an, an increment or a decrement so this time we have an increment and what the, what the function does is to blink the three LEDs that compose our binary dice three times and after that in the handle start button function we have a little delay that that will se separate the two the two games we have to to equal the guess variable to zero again to start a new game and we also I, I have also add a new a new little function it's called new game here it is this function is very simple I have I have put a, a let that will indicate us when the the delay of the one second half has finished so we can that let us know when can we start a new game we also print in the serial monitor the word new game and a blank line to separate the two games and then we wait 200 milliseconds and turn the led the indicator led low again and the three led that compose our binary dice off again so we have a, a clear ending of each game I hope that you have understood all this project I think it's quite complex but if you have any question just ask the question or leave a comment in the video thank you very much so here we have the two buttons the guess button and the start button with the resistor the three leds also with the resistor and this led connected to pin 13 <coughs> that is the led uh, the led that indicates the ending of the game when when the game ends this led will blink and
these three legs will fade out and we can start a new game I'm going to make an attempt we have the, uh, the first guess one I'm going to press the button again two three um, I'm going to to guess four so four now I'm going to start the game the result was four so the, 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 the three leads has blinked this has also blinked and this has fade, have fade out I'm going to try again one for example the result was two so this this led blinks this fade out and the, the game starts again six is time five six the result was on so four the result was three I lose the result was 4 I lose 5 the result was 2 I lose I'm going to try until I win again oh, I lose It's always a good idea to play around with your new projects and enjoy them. I think I won't, I won't win again. So this is all. Thank you very much. I almost forget to show you the serial monitor. So this is what I'm going to do now. Let's make, make an attempt. Guess one. I start the game, the result was 1, so I win. Now three leads are blinking. Again, new game. Where's 1, 2, 3, 4. I start the game, the result was 2, so I lose. New game. Yes. 6. Result was 1, so I lose. Now I'm going to, to press the button 7 times, and you will see what happens. And the the function of the mathematical sign that I showed you before 6 and then if I press it again so it starts again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if I press it again 1 you see if I hadn't written that line and returned the the, remain, the, the remainder of the division here we would have a 7, 8, 9 as we press the button again so that would be a mistake because the, the sketch wouldn't work properly oh, I've gone thank you very much